Hey guys and gals, my name is Admiral James Winnefeld. I'm the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That means I'm the number two guy in the United States military, and it's a real pleasure for me to be able to talk to you this morning. Uh, on the Joint Staff, we uh, execute and direct uh, military operations all across the globe with uh, many, many thousands of young men and women who are wearing the cloth of our nation, wearing a uniform in the United States military. It's a real privilege to be able to uh, operate in this capacity, uh, and it keeps me pretty busy all day long, as you can imagine. Well, for this program, one of the topics is the history of military aviation. And I had the great privilege earlier in my career of flying F-14s off of the flight decks of aircraft carriers. I used to refer to that as the ultimate in motor sports, except the road trips are longer and the pay is not as good. But I'd do it all over again in a heartbeat because it was really exciting to be able to fly off of those carriers and fly jet fighters. I get asked from time to time, hey, if I wanted to join the U.S. military, what would it take? And I can tell you, first of all, that if you have a dream like that of anything that you want to do, the most important thing that it takes is your determination and your belief in yourself to get that dream accomplished. Now, I know a lot of you are out there are military kids. I was a military kid, too. My father was in the Navy and deployed frequently while I was growing up. So I know what it's like to both move around a lot, uh, meeting new kids, which can have its own stresses, but is also pretty cool, I think, to meet new people all the time but also to have your mom or your dad deployed sometimes overseas, sometimes into danger. And uh, I know that, that you worry about that as well, just like I did when my father deployed. So it's very important that I thank you for the important role that you play in the military because this is a family business and we couldn't do what we do without the strong backing of our families. So thank you very much on this Veterans Day. Well, it's been a great opportunity to talk with you a little bit today and I really appreciate it. But I wonder if you would do a great honor to me by standing up, putting your hand over your heart, and reciting the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, and have a great day.